Did you finally get your junior developer job? Did you recently get hired? Or maybe you've been a developer for a year? Are you still a junior developer and don't know how to get out of that position? If you're interested, go ahead and I'll see you guys after the intro. What is up YouTube? It is good to see you guys. Please forgive me for the loud noise all around me. I'm actually here in Laguna Beach with my family right now. I think it's actually called Victoria Beach or something like that. But I'm here right now and I just want to go ahead and talk to you guys about a junior developer position. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages of people who are just getting hired as a developer, as junior developers. And I've actually getting quite a few emails as well about people who actually have been a developer for at least one or two years now but they're still stuck in a junior position and they don't know what to do. They're asking me questions like, should I go on and move to another company? What languages do I need to start studying? What am I doing wrong? That is what I want to talk about today in this very short four minute video. So if you're a junior developer, right, um, you at least know the minimum and I'm assuming you're a front end developer, you know at least uh, HTML, you know CSS, you know JavaScript, maybe you know jQuery, right? And you, you're still in that position and you want to get make more money or maybe you're not happy where you're at and you want to find another job. But the problem is, right, you're still a junior developer. Junior developers are important, but not they're not as in demand as mid-level or senior developers. And so the question then is, what is it that you need to do? And the reason I feel like I'm very comfortable to talk about this is because I've actually been getting a lot of calls and emails, even from recruiters alone, and actually from companies in my area that want to interview me or hit me up on LinkedIn. And it's not that I'm planning on leaving my company, but I was interested to see what they were looking for and what they considered to be a mid-level or senior developer. And so as I met with these companies, they called me, we did phone interviews and everything, um, just to see how it went. One of the main things they asked is if you knew React and if you knew, uh, or if you knew Angular. And these are the big two languages in the tech field because when I spoke with the hiring managers at these companies, they said, yes, one of the biggest languages that people are looking for right now are Angular and React. React is number one. They even confirmed it themselves as well. And so what you need to be able to do though, right, is that you do need to be able to have experience in React or Angular. Like literally to get out of a junior role, what you need to be able to do is have at least a one to two years of experience in these languages. And now this is what I'm doing, right? At my company, I do a bunch of different pages, but at my company, I actually work in static pages. And so though I'm doing Vue.js at my company right now, so I can say I do React professionally, this is what I'm doing on our static pages. I'm actually working on React pages, on our static pages for my company, just to build some things in React, and maybe we can make some things for our clients that they would like too. Now these aren't things that are official that clients are using, but if I'm able to make something for my company that we can use, that we can sell, then why why wouldn't we use it? And so in that way, even though my company isn't using React right now, we're using Vue.js, like we're using PHP, if I'm able to make something with React and do that consistently for a year or two, on my company, guess what? My skill level will skyrocket and my demand as a developer will skyrocket too, right? And, and, that, and that's what it takes to get out of a junior position as well. Not even just that, there are many developers out there and there are people I personally know who work professionally who are comfortable where they're at. They're comfortable with working PHP and JavaScript and that's it. They don't want to learn anything else. But if you want to get out of that role or even just get more pay as a developer, you have to really work in building a skill. Like you can't just stay at PHP, Angular, React, but one of the things you need to be able to do as well is that you have to be able to learn languages like, uh, let's say, Node.js or even be able to work with a database as well. And that's honestly what it takes to get out of a junior position you have to continue to make sure that you're studying code insanely like as much as you possibly can outside of work and actually honestly something I haven't been doing is actually using github to show and have proof for that too so that's what I plan on doing and I hope this was enough for this four minute video I doubt it'll be four minutes and this is really interesting you see all these like this is where I'm right now this is where I'm at this random place right now but yeah anyways I'll see you guys later this is Krishan this is life of a developer and I'm out Peace.